Hey guys, Anna Spackler here, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Soul Silver. Today, we're gonna go through the ice path. Alright guys, now like the name suggests, this place is covered in ice. When you step on an ice floor, you'll automatically slide in that direction. You can't change directions until you hit a wall. Alright, for the first puzzle, go up, left, up, left, down, left, up, and right. Alright then, next puzzle. Start down here, go right, go up, left, down, left, up, and right. And for our efforts, we're rewarded with HM07, which contains Waterfall. Now this guy up here, if you didn't go get the HM, he'd stop you and tell you that you had to go get it. I don't get that. Okay then. In this room, there are boulders which you have to push into those holes. You have to be very, very careful not to fall into one of those holes, because if you do, you go down a floor and reset all the boulders. Let's try that again. My suggestion, walk. Have your running shoes off, don't use your bike, just walk. That way you don't accidentally fall into a hole. Alright, done. Each of these boulders can only go in one of the specific holes. Alright then, so let's get for it to use strength and make it possible to move boulders. Alright, for this one, push it up to right here and leave it alone for a bit. We'll come back to it. Alright, this one, push it over. Push it down so you can get by it. Alright, then push it back up one. And push it over left. Now go around. Careful not to hit it. Hit it down, and then hit it right. Alright then, one down, three to go. Next boulder. Okay then. So, for this one, push it up twice. Push it to the right. One, two. Push it up twice, or three times actually sneak by it, and then push it into the hole. Two down. Alright, then for the third boulder, you want to go onto the right side of it and push it left. Come around, and start pushing it down. Alright, go around. Push it once, and then push it down a bit. I gotta tell you, I hated these strength puzzles as a kid. I'd never got them. Alright then, last one. So, push it right, and then push it down. Alright then, now that all the boulders are down there, let's go to the next floor down. After we put a rappel on, the Pokemon here aren't too hard, but it makes it annoying to cut out every five seconds because of a random encounter. Alright then, this entire floor is covered in ice, so you'll slip and slide like crazy. So go over here to get a max potion. And now you get to see me screwing up for about a minute and a half as I stupidly try to remember how to get through. I want you to look at me when, I'm, when the uh, guy's going down. It looks like he really hates his life right now. He 
You know, I could have sworn there's a treasure over here, but I guess there isn't. I checked with the, um, uh, uh, radar, or whatever it's called. Item finder. Alright then. But go to that bowler, go down, left, up, and right. Alright. And for our work, we get a full heal. And we get to continue along. Alright then, if you have a Pokemon with Rock Smash, you can just easily grab this treasure. But inside the boulder, we found a green shard. Alright. And over here, we get Nevermelt Ice. It's a hold item that increases all ice type moves. Unfortunately, we don't have an ice type attack. Alright then, guys. A few more floors. Let's go up this ladder. To find yet another strength puzzle. Alright, to get the item down there, push the boulder down once. Then go around. To over here. Up left, down. Simple. And we get an iron. Alright then, let's go back to that floor over there. Now over here is another treasure, and you get to see me act like an idiot again as I try to remember how to get it. Took me a minute, but I figured it out. Yep, you just go down directly on that one and get TM72, which contains Avalanche. It's an ice type attack, the first one we've gotten. Alright, guys, we're almost out. Just one more floor. And up here, we get a protein. Hey, it's a kimono girl. What's she doing here? Oh well. Go down, left, down, right, and down to talk to her. <laughs> yeah, that it actually is pretty funny. So just push her along and follow her that way. But let's get that treasure down there first. Now, to get it, you have to start at the beginning. But to get there is kind of annoying. You've got to do a lot of sliding around just to get back to here. But start the same way as the kimono girl. Down, left, down, but instead go left, up, right, down, right, and down. And over here we get a PP up. Ooh, that's really useful. Alright then. And just follow the kimono girl out. We did it, guys. We finally reached Blackthorn City. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Hot shot, an icy place. <laughs> Alright, well, in this house, you could trade a Dragonair for a Dodrio. Unfortunately, that's a horrible trade. Because Dragonair is one of the greatest Pokemon ever. And what it evolves to is even better. He's listening, hearing voices in his head. Alright then. Over here is the Move Deleter and Move Tutor house. This is a really important place. Now, this lady, if you have a Poke or a Dragon Pokemon with high friendship, she'll teach you to move. Unfortunately, I don't. However, I do have my starter fully evolved. Talk to this guy, and he'll teach your final evolution starter a move. Typhlosion will learn, uh, Blast Burn, uh, uh, not Croconaw, uh, Feraligator will learn Hydro Cannon, and Meganium will learn, uh, Frenzy Plant. Now these moves are like Hyper Beam. They're very powerful elemental attacks. But on the turn after you use them, you have to recharge, so your opponent gets a free hit. 
They're powerful attacks, but they have one drawback that you have to waste time. But let's see if we can teach some other moves. Alright then, let's start with Avalanche that we got. Dragon types are weak to Ice and Dragon. And this town has a Dragon Gym. But unfortunately, none of my Pokemon can learn Avalanche. Hmm. But one of them can learn Sludge Bomb that we got at that, uh... Checkpoint. Who's gonna learn it? Quagmire. I want to get rid of Mud Bomb. Because it's low power, low accuracy. So Sludge Bomb would be a much better improvement. Is there anything else I want to teach? Uh, no, it doesn't look like there is anything I could teach. Alright. Now, down here is this little plateau. You might be thinking, there's nothing here. Is there a hidden item? Well, let's check our dancing machine. No, there are not. Alrighty then. Up in this house, this lady will talk to you about the uh, trainers of this town. They specialize in dragon Pokemon. Like I said, dragons are weak to dragon and ice. Unfortunately, we don't have either. Huh, I don't think it's impossible. Can we beat Claire and her amazing dragon Pokemon? Find out next time on Let's Play Pokemon Soul Silver. Zanktacular, signing off. Have a good day.